5 ways we handle the dead Number 5 Acclimation Acclimation is the most environment-friendly way of disposal of human bodies. The process involves the rapid disintegration of the human body into high-quality fertilizers. In comparison with cremation, about 10% of the energy is used, and all of the associated pollution is avoided. With acclimation, an individual body is gently placed in a clean, stainless steel vessel. A combination of water flow, temperature, tilde 90 C, and alkalinity are used to accelerate the natural course of tissue hydrolysis. Typically the process takes about 4 hours to complete. Number 4 Burial is the act of interring a person or object in the ground, and is probably the simplest and most common method of disposing of a body. Burial is generally accepted to be one of the earliest detectable forms of religious practice, and many hominid remains have been discovered interred with grave goods, or with obvious signs of ceremony. Even today, most burials are presided over by a religious figure, and in many cultures they are conducted with great reverence. In some cultures, exactly how one is buried may make all the difference. Number 3. Cremation. Cremation is the process of reducing dead bodies to basic chemical compounds in the form of gases and bone fragments. This is most often performed in a crematorium, though some cultures, such as India, do practice open-air cremation. Generally, temperatures of no less than 1500 of are required to ensure complete disintegration. After the process is complete, the dry bone fragments that remain are swept out of the retort the chamber in which the body is immolated, and passed through a cremulator. This machine grinds the bones into a fine, sand-like powder. In some cultures or regions, pulverization may be performed by hand. These ashes are then provided to the family to be kept, scattered or interred in a traditional grave. Number 2. Space Burial In the late years of the 20th century, it became the vogue to be buried in space, that is, to have a small part of the cremated remains placed into a capsule, about the size of a tube of lipstick, and launched into space using a rocket. Since 2004, there have been about 150 space burials. This option is not commonly chosen, as it can be quite expensive, and only one company currently specializes in providing this service. In most cases, the remains are fired into Earth orbit though some have been launched into other trajectories, including to the Moon, Pluto, and deep space. Number 1. Mummification The Egyptians are perhaps the best-known adherents of this process, although they are far from the only ones, in which a corpse has its skin and organs preserved, by either intentional or incidental exposure to chemicals, extreme cold, very low humidity or lack of air. The oldest mummy found to date was a decapitated head that dates back to 6000 BC. The earliest Egyptian mummy dates back to about 3300 BC. The Egyptian mummification process is well known to modern science. Through opportunities to study mummies from that culture, and by means of references from Egyptian and other classical accounts, as well as paintings and tombs that demonstrate the process. In short, the internal organs are removed and dried out using Nitron, and are then placed either in canopic jars, or else made into four packages to be reinserted into the body cavity. The brain is scrambled by means of a hook run up through the nasal cavity, then pulled out through the nose and discarded. The heart was considered to be the organ associated with intelligence and life force. The body cavity would then be washed out with spiced palm wine and filled with dry nitron gum resin and vegetable matter. It was then placed in a bath of nitron and left for as long as 70 days. This would dehydrate the body and better preserve the skin. The body cavity was then excavated and refilled with permanent stuffing, and, often, the viscera packages. The abdominal incision was closed, the nostrils plugged with wax, and the body anointed with oils and gum resins. The remains would then be wrapped in layers of linen bandages, 
between which amulets were inserted to guard the deceased from danger and evil. But it is also possible for a body to undergo natural mummification. The extreme cold of a glacier in the Ischl Alps resulted in the mummification of a hunter who lived about 5,300 years ago, now known as Otzi the Iceman. Bog bodies, who were victims of murder or ritual sacrifice, are a common find in the United Kingdom, the Republic of Ireland, Germany, Scandinavia Denmark, 